morning students today we will revise chapter 3 uh, at home after the class you will read the chapter line by line okay so let us start the class we will do the revision of chapter 3 of the body some parts are our body parts and some are not we have to find it out which are the parts of our body let's start this is our part our body part yes we will take it next is this our body part this is a tail no we will not take nose yes this type of feet no this wings no hand yes teeth tongue mouth yes and this one is a beak so this one is not a part of our body we will not take that means this four are the parts of our body rest are not the parts of our body now computer is a smart machine that we have already learnt about now every machine is made up of some parts that also we have learned that like the car example we have taken we have wheels we have the engine we have the steering wheel this make the parts of a machine car so in this way computer also has some parts that make up the computer system let us now learn about those parts turn to the next page 25 the main four parts of a computer are monitor cpu box keyboard and mouse so this is the computer system this is called the monitor this is the keyboard this one is the mouse and this one is the cpu and this two are the speaker but the four main parts of the computer system are monitor keyboard mouse and cpu clear everyone let us now talk about the monitor okay a monitor shows the work you are doing whatever work we are doing wherever we are clicking wherever we are moving our mouse whatever we are typing from the keyboard it is shown in the monitor screen when we draw picture or play games on a computer we can see them on the monitor playing games drawing picture is also shown in the monitor screen it looks like a television everyone has television at home so the television is same as the monitor screen a monitor is also called vdu please you have to learn the full form of vdu that is visual display unit everyone please underline you have to learn this full form of vdu a monitor is also called a vdu that is visual display unit monitors are of two types one has a flat screen and the other looks like a box that means this is the monitor with flat screen and this one is also a monitor that is that looks like a box so basically there are two types of monitor flat screen monitor and the box shape monitor okay now come to the cpu cabinet cpu stands for central processing unit it is the brain of a computer it controls all the parts of a computer the cpu is placed inside a box called the cpu box this box is also called the cpu cabinet you have to learn the full form of cpu that is central processing unit please underline and this part is called the 
brain of the computer because it controls all the parts of the computer that means cpu controls the mouse cpu controls the keyboard cpu controls the monitor all the parts of the computer system are controlled by the cpu next the cpu is placed inside the box called the cpu box that means this is the cpu central processing unit and this is placed inside this box this is called the cpu cabinet this cpu is placed inside this cabinet or box so this box is called the cpu cabinet cpu box is also called cpu cabinet okay now please turn the page keyboard this is called the keyboard a keyboard is used to write on a computer writing on the computer using a keyboard is called typing so we have to learn this definition of typing here you can type any letter or number by pressing the keys on the keyboard you will see different keys over here numeric keys are there alphabet keys are there different symbols are there whenever we want to write anything on the computer we take the help of the keyboard so writing on the computer using a keyboard this process is called typing clear everyone now we go to the first fact the qwerty keyboard was created by christopher solis in 1868 everyone have to learn this one okay the qwerty keyboard was created by christopher solis in 1964 please underline you have to learn this one okay next coming to the mouse this is a computer mouse it is different from our house mouse this is our house mouse this one is the computer mouse a computer mouse is used to point at things on the monitor this mouse is used to point anything on the computer screen it is also used to draw picture for drawing picture on the computer this mouse is used it is attached to the cpu box with a wire this wire is attached to the cpu box for using it it has two or three buttons on it on the top we have sometimes three button and sometimes two button apart from this till here we have talked about the main parts of the computer system that are mouse keyboard then we had talked about cpu cabinet monitor so these four important parts we have already discussed other than this many other parts are there that we will not do today that we will do in the next class printer is used to print the work that we have done it is also used to print the work stored in the computer the printer is attached to the cpu with a wire the printed work is called a printout so what we learn from this paragraph printer is basically used to take the printout on paper that means we have to make it a hard copy using a printer anything we have already stored in the computer system that also we can take print out using the printer and how the printer is attached to the cpu box with a wire and the printed work is called print out or hard copy you can write over here or hard copy this two names we can use for the printed work next
everyone can see the quick bite of page number 26 some printers are some printers give colored printout while others give black and white printer that means using the printer we can take the printout as colored one as well as black and white okay now coming to scanner this is called scanner these are the printers scanner is used to copy the picture or text on the paper so that it can be stored on the computer that means using the scanner we can make the soft copy of our document and can store in the computer okay whenever you need the hard copy of our document we use the printer whenever we need the soft copy of our document we need the scanner scanner help us to copy the picture or text on a paper and store it on the computer speaker we use the speaker to listen to music and sounds that means whenever you are listening to the songs and the videos also how can you hear the sound using the speaker you can hear the sound we wear headphones when we do not want to disturb others with the sound that means when the sound is too loud or we don't want to disturb the other person that time we use the headphones so that only we can hear the sound others should not get disturbed by our action okay next microphone a microphone is used to record and save the sound on the computer now using the microphone we record the sound our voice we can record and also we can save that sound on the computer we can store that sound in the computer next ups this full form you have to learn uninterruptible power supply what is the use of this ups it is used to keep the computer working for some time when the electricity goes off that means when the electricity is off for some moment this ups help us to work in the computer system suppose we are working in a very important uh, document and the power has gone that time ups will help us to save our work and then shut down the computer clear everyone what is the work of ups yes you can work in the computer system for some time even when the electricity goes off and the full form you have to learn uninterruptible power supply ups okay now here is one quick bite headphone with a microphone are called as headset clear everyone headphones with a microphone are called headset this question may come what is headset you have to learn this portion okay now this is the total chapter parts of a computer please turn the page this let's recap some points are there important points are there you have to learn these points and write it in the cw copy okay write in the cw copy this is the hw of today you have to write this in the computer cw copy after reading the chapter you will write this in the computer cw copy clear everyone as we have done the revision of chapter 3 today your homework will be to read the chapter line by line the let's recap the underlying portions whatever is there learn it properly with proper spelling so hw is clear if you have any query regarding today's class, please write in the comment box. I will reply you back. So everyone, stay healthy, stay at home. Bye-bye.